let's have a little look down here, shall we? This might be a bad idea. It might be really muddy and horrendous down here. We'll find out. <laughs> wow, there's loads of swans. Oh my god. Friends? <laughs> there is an army of swans. So many swans, oh my god. Hello, Mr. Swan. Hello. <laughs> He's looking at me. <laughs> They're heading for the waters spicy road on that the other day and I just how I can't <laughs> I was watching the video and I was like oh, oh how can you do that <laughs> I was just so worried he was gonna fall in but I thought well if he did fall in a he would tell me about it and b <laughs> it would be on the video I would know before it was on video anyway oh dear wow it's so pretty down here I thought I'd take a little wander and just do something slightly different because I've not been down it for ages and the weather's nice and I've got a bit of time so I thought I would come and have a little stroll. <laughs> well that is awkward because I have to make sure that no one's following me because then I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I suppose I could pretend I'm talking to like someone on the phone. This might be a bit of a random video because the only things really I can think of talking about is just a mini update, a follow on from my last video. And I do apologise if I end up a bit breathless in this. I do have asthma, so when I'm walking a lot, <laughs> it makes me breathless. So I don't want to sound like one of those creepy people on the phone that are like, hello, I'm watching you. <laughs> but that is what I might sound like. Oh, it looks like there's a bench up there. I suppose I can sit down. But yeah, following on from my last video, um, I've been... I, I did actually get offered a job um, by the other company. Oh, look at these rocks. I'm going to have to take a picture of these rocks at the moment. Um, yeah, I got offered a job by the other company I was thinking of going for. And in the end, I decided to turn it down because I'd been trialling the new role that my current workplace offered me and was really enjoying it. So in the end, I decided actually it's better for me to stay where I am in the new role because it's, it, it just suits me so much more and I'm actually really enjoying it. I love it. And I feel so much happier. I'm not having like major anxiety attacks anymore. So things are working out really well. But yeah, that's kind of what's going on. So I'm feeling a lot better. Things are, are improving. Oh my God, I could have dropped my key in the sea and that would have been, I don't know what I would have done if that had happened. Oh my God, I would have had to have gone in there somehow. Oh, and if I lost... Oh, no. Imagine losing it in one of the little holes. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> it is really nice down here. I should come by and walk here more often. Or come with Spicy, I guess. Maybe we could go for a walk down here. We have walked down here once before. A long, long time ago. I think it was like one of the first dates we ever went on. <laughs> we had to walk down here. <laughs> oh, dear. Good times. <laughs> well, every every day is a good day. Every time's a good time. Oh, the swans are in the waters. The swans are in the waters. Little baby swans growing up. They are very cute. I do like swans. I've never ever really been scared of them, and I think it's because as a kid, um, I used to walk similar. It was this place, but a different area, uh, with my grandparents, and we would feed the swans. And I was only really young, must have been about like eight or less than eight or something like that. And just gave this massive crust of bread to this, this giant swan. It was like the same size as me. And it just took the bread. So I've, I'd never ever been bitten by a swan. I've never been attacked by a swan. So I think like a lot of people I know 
are scared of swans now. And I think it's because at some point they got attacked by one as a kid. But I never have, so I know that they can be dangerous. You've got to be cautious, especially um, if they've got babies around, because they will be more defensive. But yeah, never been attacked, so I like swans. <laughs> but you do have to be careful around them, because you never know. <laughs> oh, tree branch. I kind of feel like I got distracted and uh, don't know what else I was meant to be talking about. Oh my god, this road is horrendous. I'm sure Spicy finds it fun. <laughs> One thing that did make me laugh is <laughs> I think this kind of summarises the difference between me and Spicy very well. <laughs> he says, and this is very true, that I'm the type of person to see a speed bump and slow down and he is the type of person to see a speed bump and speed up because it'll be fun. <laughs> Not in a dangerous way though, so you know what I mean. <laughs> oh dear, it did make me laugh though. But yeah, things things are going very well at the moment, so I'm enjoying my new job. It's the same place, but just a new role. It suits me so much better than the previous one I was doing, and I feel so much happier. I feel like I can just go to work, do my work, go home, enjoy life. Yeah, so I'm very happy at the moment. Oh God. Thank you for waiting for me. <laughs> oh, pigeon! <laughs> oh no, I don't have a pigeon! Go away! Any more pigeons want to come and fly in my face? Any more? No? Okay. Oh god, there's big bikes. Hello, bigger bikes. Bit like Harleys or something, I don't know. I just, any cruiser I see, I just assume is a Harley. <laughs> I'm like the average person that doesn't know anything about bikes. I'm like, oh yeah, that looks, that must be a, is that a Harley? Uh, no, it's a uh, Honda or <laughs> something. Oh. oh, it is funny when people, when you don't, when you meet a stranger and uh, they try and talk to you about bikes, you'll instantly know whether they are a biker or not by what they say. <laughs> I thought another pigeon was coming to get me then. <laughs> um, like for example, you might meet someone, they're like, oh, that's a nice bike, what is it? And then you tell them and they're like, oh, I had one like that once, or I had a mate who had one like that. It was a, and then they make up something that sounds legit to someone who doesn't know anything about bikes. But when you know about bikes, it doesn't make any sense at all. Like they might say, oh, well, I've got a Kawasaki I'm trying to think of a bike that's wrong now. <laughs> I can't. Like they might say something. They'll always say it's a different brand to whatever you've just said as well. So they, they might say, oh yeah, I've got like a, a Kawasaki 780 or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's real, but I'm just trying to make something up. Uh, or like they'll say one brand of one bike and uh, a model of another bike. Like, for example, a Suzuki CBR. 690 and you're like oh yeah <laughs> oh really <laughs> oh i love it i love when that happens i'm just like oh, okay and then i just i just listen to them i just let them talk at me for like a couple minutes and i'm like oh, okay well see you later <laughs> but what i don't what i never understood of all the people that you're going to try and kind of like make something up to why would you make it up to someone who is clearly riding a bike and knows about bikes like a normal average person i can understand like you could just say anything and they'll be like oh cool like half the time when i speak to strangers i don't know and they ask me what bike i ride well firstly their first question is always oh is it a big bike because i know the next question is basically they're assuming if i ride a scooter or an actual motorcycle <laughs> um, so I'm like, yeah, kind of, it's, it's a little bit in between. So I've got a 500, sometimes I'll say that. And if they say, oh, what bike have you got? I might say, oh, I've got a Honda 500 or a Honda CBR 500. Oh, it depends on who I'm talking to and, and how much knowledge they have of bikes. And depending on their reply, depends on what I next say. So like, if I speak to someone and they're like, 
oh, what bike do you ride? And I'm like, oh, I've got a, a Honda 500. They're like, oh, cool. Okay. And like, you can normally tell if they, if they don't really know what the hell you're talking about. If you hit someone with the model and everything all at once, they just don't know what you, it's like you're speaking gibberish to them. It's like you've just gone, oh yeah, I ride a, I ride a Suzuki LS2958 blah, 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 and they have no idea what you're talking about. That's what it, do you know what? <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> people talking about bike brands <laughs> and bike makes and models to people who don't know anything about bikes is exactly what I'm like when people try and talk to me about cars <laughs> I am exactly like that you could come up to me and be like I'll be like oh cool like I wouldn't even probably would never ask you what car you have but let's just say I get into that conversation and you go oh, I've got like a Citroen something or whatever whatever I don't know like I know some brands but I don't know hardly any models and people are like oh yeah I love this car and I'm like I don't know what the hell that is but I'll just be like okay cool <laughs> I don't know what it is I just know what color it is whether it's white blue green <laughs> yellow um <laughs> and what <laughs> brand it is is it a, a Citroen a Nissan a Honda <laughs> A BMW, yeah, I'm not very good with it. <laughs> I'm exactly like, that is exactly what I'm like. A Mercedes, I'm just naming all the cars that are going by now. <laughs> but like, I could look at a car and I won't know what it is unless I can see the badge. Then I'll know what it is. So like, I, I'm always a little bit courteous. If, if someone doesn't know much about bikes, I might just say the brand name. I've got a Honda 500. Because people, even if they don't know about bikes, they know what the brand brands are. And they know kind of what the numbers mean. They know that 500 is going to be average. 1,000 is going to sound like it's really big, which it technically is. And then like, if you say I've got like a, a 50 or a 125, they might not really get what that means, but they'll know it's, it's not like a big bike. <laughs> I don't know how I got off onto this tangent. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about before. I'm sure it had a point at, to start with and then it, <laughs> it just went off. Uh, is there anything else I need to talk to you guys about i think that's everything i wanted to kind of cover in today's video just wanted to give a little update oh me and spicy also went to the blue reef aquarium which for some reason is a massive tongue twister for me to say and i have to really really think about it to say it i just can't say it fast otherwise i get it all mi mi mixed up i can't even speak now it's mixing me up um but yeah we went there and <laughs> And it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It is quite a small place. You, it doesn't take long to get around. And you know, some of the tanks are a bit small, so it's a little bit sad, but, but <laughs> there's some really interesting things there. And we did get to see the otters. They were so cute. There was only two of them. At first we thought they weren't there, um, but then they were there. They were just hidden in a corner fighting and then eventually trying to steal the other one's toy. And Oh, they were so cute. I love them. Um, yeah, and I, I tried to film some of it. I don't know how well that's gone. I haven't really looked back at the footage yet. It might be very dark and very grainy. There was hardly any light. Spicy managed to get a few good pictures, but I mean, he took loads, but half of them, you couldn't see them or they were blurry. And obviously, because you're trying to take a picture inside a tank, you can't really put your lens right next to or on the tank because you don't want to scratch it also you can't use flash you don't want to scare or kill the fish um, and a lot of the um, tanks will have like might have a strobing light effect in it or something like that so then you're trying to focus and then one minute is focused the sec next second it's just gone the focus is gone so I don't know how that video is going to turn out but we'll see <laughs> or if it never gets uploaded then oh well at least you heard about it here I guess but it was good fun it was good fun but yeah that's kind of just a little update from me is there anything you guys want to hear me talk about in like my next few videos or any subjects you want me to cover um if you do put it in the comments below and if you see one and you really like it like it <laughs> just put a little like on it thumbs it up so that the ones that have the most thumbs up i'll uh, see if i can do those ones so whatever's the most popular and uh, yeah, if, if whatever ones I like or I think are interesting, I might do. Um, just because, why not? Oh my God, pigeons are everywhere. The pigeons are out to get me today. I cannot escape the pigeons. <laughs> everywhere. 
Oh, she's going to have to have a million thousand eyes. I mean, you've got to have a million thousand eyes on a bike anyway, but now I'm going to have a million thousand eyes for pigeons. <laughs> Watch out for pigeons, ma'am. They'll get you. <laughs> oh, I don't know what planet I live on. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. Oh, God. There we go. I was talking to someone the other day, one of my colleagues. <laughs> he was saying, do you know what? <laughs> It's fascinating. I talk to you, and like every two minutes, you you just start speaking in a different voice. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's me. That is literally me. I mean, my my colleagues at work have known me for like for two actually maybe about a year, I think. Well, I've been there for about nearly three years, so they do know me very well by now. Uh, why have they got a poo bag on <laughs> on their their windscreen wiper? Do they know it's there? If they go to use their windscreen wiper <laughs> uh, and and the the poo just flies out. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so bad. Just flings off and whacks someone in the head. <laughs> oh Do you know I would be a horrible person to Mike because because one moment I do speak very quietly and the next it's when I laugh. My laugh is very, very loud and it is quite piercing as well. If I do my genuine, natural laugh that just like comes out out of nowhere, my family hate it because it, it apparently it goes straight through you and it really is piercing. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm having, I'm enjoying myself and I'm having fun. Is that too much to ask for these days? Do you see what I mean? I've already got onto another voice. Oh my God. This is, it, but it is what I'm like. Like when I'm filming my videos, this is this is me. I am crazy, <laughs> but you know, I, I, can, I am very sensible. But I can be a bit of a lunatic sometimes. But it's just it's just the way that I am, and you know, well, I can't really change it. I remember once in school, I said, "I'm gonna be normal from now on. No more craziness, no more weirdness, just normal." And it lasted, I think, half a day. <laughs> and I was like, "This is boring. I want to go back to my normal self." <laughs> Um, and I guess that's a good lesson. You should always be your normal self. You shouldn't try and change yourself to be someone else. That's just dumb. But yeah, I've kind of gone on way too many tangents now, so I think I should just end the video before I bring up any more tangents. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.